In this presentation, we will set up a new salaried employee, this one happening to be the owner of the S Corporation. So we'll go through the setup process, which will be much the same for any salaried employee as with the owner. And then we'll also set up the medical insurance item, an item that is typically specific to the owners of an S Corporation. We will be entering this data into QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here is the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you want to go to the view drop down and the open windows list. First, we're going to set up a new employee, and this is going to be the owner who then typically will often have to pay themselves with the regard to an S corporation. The setting up, however, will be much the same for setting up any salaried employee. So we're gonna go through the employee center by going to the employee dropdown and employee center. We're then gonna be setting up a new employee and I'm gonna select the new employee up top to do so. The name here we're gonna put for our example problem will be Judy and the last name Jones. This is going to be our owner. We would then, of course, need the social security number, which for our example is going to be 681-94-4688, gender female. We're not going to enter the date of birth here. We would typically want to have the date of birth. We're going to enter some minimal information so that we can process the payroll for this, this employer. And then we have the marital status. We do need that because it's going to be necessary to calculate the FIT or we will need it somewhere in the data entry so that we can calculate the federal income tax. We will say married here. We're going to say U.S. citizen. Yes, ethnicity is not necessary. I'll keep it blank. Then disability, that will keep this the same. Address, I'm actually not going to include the address. We would need it for the W-2s. However, I'm going to keep it blank for now and process the payroll which is taking a look mainly focusing in on the numbers then we're going to go through the payroll information we are going to include a monthly payroll and we're going to say now this time it's salary rather than the hourly so the big change here is that we have a salaried employee instead of the hourly employee now because this is the owner we're going to include a large salary so that we want to see it and what we want to do is actually hit the cap by the end of the year so we get an example of what would happen when you hit the cap for social security so we're actually going to put the wage here at five hundred thousand five hundred thousand on the wage that's going to be the annual wage so when we have a monthly pay period here so five hundred thousand divided by twelve it's going to be the 41666 for each time period as we process the payroll. The only item we're going to put over here is going to be the 401k plan. So we're going to have the 401k plan and the 401k matching. We're not going to add any of the other items because we want to keep it simple and see what the effect will be for a large salary that will probably hit the cap. We will have it hit the cap at the end of the year, the social security cap and the effect of the 401k plans. So we're going to have the 401k plan will be for the employee portion is going to be 3,500 and we're going to have the match being 1750. Now, these are just going to be arbitrary numbers. We're not going through any regulations on the 401k. It would depend on what the policies are for the 401k. We're going to put this information in just as an example to process this payroll for the salaried employee. The next thing we do is go to the taxes up top. We need to set up the taxes. So I'm going to select this item. And once again, we're in the federal tab. We need to say the marital status. We're going to say is married number of exemptions exemptions we're gonna say is three not six three and then we've got the extra withholdings keeping that the same medicare social security federal unemployment we will keep those items for the state but we're gonna say the state is california and we're gonna keep the sui and the sdi and let the computer calculate that and we're gonna go to california here as well uh, we're gonna say once again marital status and allowances we're going to keep it at three this could differ from state to fed but we're going to keep it the same and that's what we have here and everything looks good i'm going to say okay 
it's going to say that Judy Jones is subject to any of the following taxes. Employment training tax. I'm going to say, yeah. So set that up, please. QuickBooks added the following tax to the employee record. That's a California tax. So this would be due to the California, not a federal tax. It will change from state to state. In other words, we're going to say OK and OK. And that should be it. She is set up. We're going to say OK. That item is set up. So that's basically just setting up a salaried employee. This one happening to be the owner who, for an S corporation, would have to pay themselves in many circumstances. Now we're, we're going to set up a new payroll item. So we're going to go to the, the lists drop down and we're going to go to the payroll item list. Payroll item list. We're going to set up a new item. This is in the paid payroll items. So the paid payroll. Selecting the payroll item drop up and go into new up top. We're going to select the easy setup and go next. We're going to keep it on the insurance benefits, health insurance, dental, and so on, and say next. We'll then have this set up wizard. What we're looking for is the S Corporation Medical. And if you look at the example here, you want to look into the, to the S Corporation if this is a situation that you have. If it, and it often happens for, say, a single member S Corporation that set up an S Corporation here, or as we read, set up an S Corporation medical benefit payment if your company is an S Corporation that pays taxable medical insurance premiums for 2% shareholders. If you're not sure whether your insurance plan premiums are of this type, check with your plan administrator or your accountant. So you can read into more of that, but this is another option that we just want to explore in case uh, you're looking most of the time, oftentimes would be applicable to a small company as corporation type of setup, one type of setup. And so we're going to say next. And we're going to say the vendor is going to be once again the health insurance vendor. I'm going to keep it at the same health insurance vendor as our prior insurance we set up and say next and finish that item. We now have the S Corporation medical insurance item here and it says it's the company contribution. Now we're going to go back into Judy Jones and add this item to our new employee Judy Jones. To do that we're going to go to the employees drop down, employee center, and we're going to select our new employee Judy Jones, the owner, and then go to the payroll information. And on this side, additions, deductions, and company contributions, we're going to select the drop down and we will then select the S Corporation Medical Insurance. So you probably couldn't see it at the bottom there, but it's S Corporation Medical Insurance. We will include the amount saying 2000. It's going to be 2000 for that item. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to process the payroll with our new salaried employee and the insurance for the S Corporation set up for that. And that's what we'll do next time. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.